Hey planner babes, it is Ashley here from Ashley Anderson Creates. Today we are going to be doing a fun little plan with me inside of my social media planner. The stickers I'm going to be using are the Good Vibe stickers. These are from the Happy Planner. And then here I'm showing you I also have my pre-planning sheet ready to go so I know what stickers to put where. I have an entire video on my, my full pre-planning process and I show that with you guys. And if you know me, I am a huge advocate for pre-planning especially if you're new to um, like decorating your planner just because it helps so much with sticker placement. So make sure you guys go check out that video. But these stickers, the Good Vibes sticker book, this is a part of the Happy Planner's new back to school collection, which is now officially available on their website. I'm sure many of you guys have already placed your order. I did as well. I'm super excited for it. And let me know down in the comment section, do you guys want to see what I ordered from the Happy Planner? Like, it's not a lot of things, but I can make a little mini haul video and show you guys what products I did order from their back to school collection. I'm really, really excited for a few of them. I cannot wait to get them in. Um, so this, for this planner spread, this is my social media planner and it's fun to be back in a mini. Um, I really do enjoy the mini happy planner. I enjoy my classic happy planner. I enjoy both of them, but um, I'm excited to be back in a mini. But for this week, I am using, it's okay. If you've been following me and you watch me plan in my dashboard classic size happy planner for social media, this is similar. I haven't changed the way that I plan just because I'm now in a mini. So for what I'm using the planner for, like each sections of the spread are going to be the same as they were whenever I was inside of my classic planner. So on the left there where that blue sticker that says priority, that is where I will list out my videos for the week. So what video is going to be posted on what day? The section on the left page there on the right under the orange box that says happy day, that's just a to-do list, which I ended up putting what photos I needed to take down that list so I could have a running list so I could check those off. So that's what I used there for, that for. And then this little section that I'm decorating down here, I like to just decorate this. Also, my son just dropped his controller, so if you guys heard that. But I like to decorate this section down here. And then you'll see in a little bit, I put a sticker, a box sticker down there to um, have that for the weekend. Guys, I am seriously loving the stickers in the Good Vibe sticker book. Actually, you'll probably see me flipping through this a bunch because I couldn't decide which stickers I wanted to use and how I wanted to layer them. I am loving the shoes. I love all of those, like the stickers, like the shoe sticker, how it has that pink outside border to it. I love those ones. I think those are so stinking cute. Um, they are like a clear sticker, but they just have, instead of like a clear backing, they have that pink backing. There's also some in there that have gold foiling backing on them. I thought those are really cute too, and I um, I went to grab for a few of them, but I decided that they, um, they kind of didn't match. Like if I would have done more of the gold foiling, it would have looked better instead of just like one sticker with the gold foiling, so I didn't end up using them. But I am loving this sticker book. Here, I'm putting down these little circle stickers on each day of the week over here on the right side. And this is what will indicate my Instagram post for the day. And then you'll also see me add in a few oval, like, they're like box stickers, but instead of a box, it's oval. So you guys will see me add those in. And those are for my filming and editing schedule because on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, I'm actually going to be filming and editing videos for the following two weeks. I'm trying to get ahead get ahead of the game there with that. Here I'm checking my pre-planning just to verify what I had going on, what I was doing each day. I also had to fill in some information on that pre-planning sheet. Like I said, I am a huge advocate of pre-planning. If you don't do it, I highly recommend it, especially when it comes to things like social media. Because that is like for me where I 
not only post to Instagram, but I also post to YouTube. I love the pre-planning sheets because I can, I know what videos I need to post on what days and then what Instagram post is going to go along with that video and that corresponding day. Uh, so I like to have that pre-planning so I can figure all that out in advance and not have my, I don't want, I don't want a messy planner. So I'd rather have a messy printable that I use and can pitch and then write it all cute and neat and pretty inside of my planner. See how I do that? And that's why I do that. That's the, that's the true underlying reason is because I want my planner to look cute, which, hey, there's nothing wrong with that, right? For the oval stickers that I put on Saturday and Sunday, I'm, I have no idea what I'm going to put in those because that this coming weekend, we have a really busy weekend and I doubt I'm going to be filming and editing videos, which is why Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm doing that. So I get ahead of the game because I know that the next few weeks are going to be pretty busy for me. So I'm not sure. I'll probably just write something like take photos or fill in my planners for the next week. Um, just kind of something like that, just to fill in those, but I wanted those there. So it kind of pulls it, it makes it more cohesive on that side of the page. So not all of the oval stickers were just like top heavy, if that makes sense. If they weren't just like all at the top of the page and there was none down at the bottom. And then from there, I just started to add in a few more decorative elements to use some more of those super cute stickers. that was a super quick and easy plan with me um, you guys once you get your planning routine down planning inside of your planner becomes a lot easier and a lot faster and I just want to share this with you if you are new to planning and you are still struggling with figuring out your planning routine I promise I promise if you stick with it you will get a routine down you will get that figured out you will know what stickers need to go where you'll know what stickers you gravitate towards more you know what styles that you like to use you know what layouts you like to use I know especially in the beginning it's it's kind of overwhelming and it's stressful but um, just know that I, I promise it does get so much easier and you will figure out your planning style as long as you stick with it now if you give up you're not going to figure out your planning style right but just stick with it it will come with time and you will get better and better and better I promise I was not good at this at all when I first started it, it, my spreads look like a two-year-old put the stickers down so we've come a long way but that my friends is my social media plan with me I've got my got it all set up and ready to go and then from there I just take everything from my pre-planning sheet and I write it over into my planner and boom plans are made hey don't forget to hit that subscribe button seriously have an incredible day my friend and I will see you in the next video